All right, here we go for part two of the Solution Prep Lab. Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses and then you wanna collect these items. So the rest of your lab kit for Solution Prep, your tubes that have hopefully been washed and are now dry, your lids for your tubes, your weigh boat that should have been from the last lab that you saved, your transfer pipette. You're also gonna want your syringe, okay? Your tabletop balance and some sort of measuring tool. You guys have a little white scoop in your original lab kit, your base lab kit, that's probably the best. I'm using a spoon because I didn't bring that with me. And then a Sharpie to label, and then your notebook should have your calculations in it for the lab. Okay, you also wanna get yourself a cup of water that you can use to transfer into your tubes. I'm gonna be super hipster here with my mason jar. All right, so for this lab, you actually only need four of your five tubes, okay? So you wanna find the one that's already labeled zero, because that's you can use that for zero again. Okay, find the one labeled zero, okay, and then three of the others. The last tube, make sure it's fully dry, but then you can cap it and put it back in your main lab kit. Okay, so you're going to relabel these tubes, okay, so they may still have their labels from the dextrose lab on them, okay. The initials, date, and period, you probably only really need to change the date, right? So I'm now doing this the next day. This is not your notebook, so as long as it's clear, you can write over things, okay, and then you're going to put in your different, um, concentrations and compounds, okay? The compound is now Kool-Aid. And then the concentration is gonna be what's in your lab book, right? So cross this out and fill in the concentration and unit from your lab book. Okay. My numbers here may not be the same as yours, And then you're gonna start by weighing out the highest concentration with your Kool-Aid powder. So this is the one you did the math for to weigh out grams in your flowchart. So find your flowchart, right? Get your balance. You're gonna turn on the balance, put the weigh boat on, let it zero. Then you're gonna open the Kool-Aid packet, okay? And using either your little scoop or your spoon, or if you're very careful, you can pour it. You're gonna weigh out the right amount for this first tube. Okay, consult the math in your notebook. If you go over, you may need to get rid of a little. Keep in mind, I'm weighing out an example. You wanna consult your notebook to make sure you get the exact right amount your notebook calls for. You're gonna put that into your highest concentration tube. All right. And then, oops, then you're gonna add the water up to the 10 mil line. Okay. You're not adding 10 mils, you're adding up to the 10 milliliter line. The powder takes up some space, so it'll be actually a little less than 10 milliliters. It's so blue, look how blue that is. Okay, you wanna get right to the right spot. You can add drop by drop if you need, so that it meets that 10 mil line exactly. Then you wanna cap it, and the biggest thing here is you wanna make sure that it fully dissolves. Okay, you don't wanna have any powder left in the bottom. You may need to let it sit a little bit. Mine got pretty foamy but you need to let it fully dissolve before you can go on to the next step or your measurements will not be correct. All right. Great. Once you are sure that it's fully dissolved, you can go on to make your next tube. You're actually gonna put your balance away at this point. Right. Make sure it's clean, wipe it off, right. make sure it's dry. And you can put away your wave boat as well. Those can go back in your main lab kit. You may wanna rinse this and let it dry. Okay. You're gonna use this tube that you just made to make the next tube. This is called a cereal dilution. Cereal like cereal killer, not cereal like breakfast, okay? All right, so this is when you need your syringe. You're gonna take your syringe and you're going to measure be the volume you calculated from this first tube and put it into your next tube, the next most concentrated, okay? So again, make sure that this is all dissolved. Mine's pretty close. You wanna make sure yours is actually fully dissolved. All right, so you wanna put the tip of the syringe into the liquid and draw up until you get to the desired volume. Okay, so you wanna get it so that the liquid is right at the line that you want it to measure to. So even if there's an air gap here, you wanna make sure that the volume is at the line you are interested in. Okay, cap this back up. You're now done with this first tube. You're gonna set it aside. You're gonna take the second most concentrated tube. Okay, and you're going to inject this liquid in there, okay? 
All right. Now you're going to add up to the 10 mil line of water. You're diluting this. You're making it less strong by adding water. Make sure you get it right to the 10 mil line as precisely as possible. Put the cap on and mix. And you can already compare these two tubes, right? And see that this one that I just diluted is lighter than this one that's the original. Okay? Now you're going to take the tube you just made, okay? That second strongest concentration, the first con first strongest you made, still set it aside. You're going to use this tube to make the next tube. You're going in series. Use the tube you just made to make the next tube. Okay, you want to make sure you rinse this out, so draw up some liquid and then squirt it in the sink. Now you're going to measure out your volume. This is your V1, right? You're going to measure that out from here, from the tube you just made, the most recent tube. And you want to draw up however much liquid is listed as your V1 for making this next tube. Good, good. You want to make sure you don't get any bubbles. If you get bubbles, you can do the kind of doctor thing, right? Where you flick it until the bubbles come to the top and kind of squeeze out the bubbles and then drop a little more. This tube is now done. You can set it aside. You're going to take your second to last tube, your second to least concentrated tube. Squirt that in there. And you're going to fill this up to the 10 mil line as well. You can already see you're diluting it with water, you're making it less strong, so the color is significantly less. At this point, you're going to repeat these steps for your final tube. You're going to use the tube you just made, so your second to lowest concentration, to make the lowest concentration tube, the remaining tube. Okay, mix that up. Now you have your tubes. Okay, you want to lay them out. Okay, take a photo of the labels, just like last time. So put them in order. Okay, make sure I can see the full label, right? It may be kind of scribbled, but do your best to get a full picture. And then you're also going to hold them all upright, vertical, so I can see all of the volumes. And keep a note, some of them will not be the same volumes as the others. The first three should be five milliliters remaining, okay? And the last one will still be ten, okay? So keep in mind that they're not all the same. Take a photo of those so that I can see the volumes for all of them. You're gonna submit that in your report. And now last, but definitely not least, gets real exciting here. You're gonna take your well plate. Okay, this is what's called a six well plate. There's a lid on it, you're gonna remove that. I'd put it on a white background. You're going to fill each of these uh, solutions into a different well carefully, okay? So the first thing you want to do is label your white background. I'd use actual regular paper. Um, so These should be the same as the concentration labels on your tube. They may not be the same as what I am writing here, so make sure you pay attention to your C2s from your data table, which is this should be the same as your tube labels for what you're writing down here for the four different wells. You're labeling four of the six spots. Okay. Then you're going to add five milliliters of the corresponding tube into the right well. Okay, so some of your tubes are already at five mils, so you'll just add the full contents okay, carefully into the well. So you'll add that entire contents of your first three highest concentration tubes into the wells. But for the last tube, you have 10 milliliters. You need to use either your syringe or the markings on the tube to make sure you only get five milliliters into the well so that they are all equal. Photograph the well plate in bright light with the paper label showing just like this. To ensure that you get the best results, you want to make sure that there are no shadows on your plate. So use some direct bright light and that the paper underneath is plain white. So try and get it even clearer and brighter than the photograph of my example. Then you're gonna pick one of the color apps from the Canvas assignment for whatever device you have. The example I'm doing here is the What a Color app for the iPhone. This is what the homepage looks like for that app. And you can either select camera to use the camera function to look at the well plate or gallery to use a photo that you have already taken of the well plate. Either way should work fine. You'll likely either need to give access to your camera or to your camera roll in order for the photographs to be observed. If you use the camera function, you'll use that blue button there to snap a photo to analyze. Otherwise, you'll just pick the right photo from your photo roll. 
You'll then be instructed to tap on the image to view the color information. You want to select the part of each well that appears to be the truest version of that color, so the least shadowed, the least reflected. Once you've used your finger to drag that magnifier to the truest color spot, you're going to select the name of the color up at the top. So this one says Powder Blue Web. You're going to click right there so it opens up the next page. Here are some examples of what those next color information pages will look like. You're going to record the sum of the C, M, Y, K values. So you can see those four values separated with commas next to where it says C, M, Y, K. They go in order. So the first value there is the C value, the second the M, the third the Y, and the fourth the K. Make sure you record those values needed in the data table in your notebook before you clean up. All right, and now it's time to clean up. Right? So you can uh, kind of rinse out the well plate. You may want to let it dry and set it aside in case you have to redo. Keep the lid with it. Any extra Kool-Aid, I would like tape up this and put it back in the kit. These tubes should all be washed thoroughly with soap, right? They're going to be sticky. Um, you can wash them top rack of the dishwasher if you like. The syringe, you're going to separate and wash both parts. Again, you should probably use soap uh, to make sure it gets really clean. Okay, rinse this and save it. Put your balance and everything back where it belongs.